I'm like naked right now. Don't say it. Now that you look like the peanut butter baby, I don't know what's wrong. Like it just won't stop. Welcome back to my channel, Stinks. So today we're doing a vlog. I was just looking at my page and I was like, damn, like we don't really go through my diet. So I thought I would be kind and, and bring you guys with me because I don't know, I've been feeling a little lonely and desperate. <laughs> and we've all been there. My friends across the screen, if you guys are gonna be there with me, I feel like I'm gonna be fine. But yeah, so uh, ASMR. Also, I'm gonna link all of my skincare products down below. Now what are we going to wear, sir? Hey, I'm back. What's going on? I was just talking to all of my clients earlier because I do like to check in on them in the morning. Okay, and if you also need help with body recomposition, babe. Don't be silly, it's okay to get help. I want to be there for your journey so that I can follow you, okay? And also, I'm to support you and talk to you in a very intimate way. Sorry. <laughs> You make me a little nervous. I also want to use this opportunity to give Maya a shout out. She has done so good. Yeah, she did that. She put her little toe into that. It's only been a couple of weeks. So if you want help putting your toe into things, that came out weird. I'm the toe farmer. You already know what's up. I'm linking that in my bio below if you're interested. Now I'm actually bringing back the OG. So if you don't already know, you typically are going to want to have some carbohydrates before your workout. I typically have mine around 30 minutes to an hour before mine. Eat it when I'm in the car so that I'm good and pumped up. Okay. I also like to put some salt on there so two set all right get your honey now you want to do around one or two tablespoons of this i just i find oh because i feel like i'm in a pretty good mental space to do that get everybody on this okay if we see people eating this we know that they are part of the cult all right take some salt oh my god that got all over my laptop <laughs> And there you have it. Now listen, I don't want to hear any complaints about, oh, like I don't eat before I work out. Don't be silly. Because if you're trying to skip the gains, fine, so be it, okay? But over here in this channel, we like to build big booties, okay? And big booties are built not only in the gym, but you also have to feed them. But the reason why you want to eat before you work out is because your body primarily wants to use carbohydrates when you're working out. So if you're not giving it any carbohydrates, you're not gonna have the energy to push the weight that you need to push to grow fatty. So just eat. It doesn't have to be this, although it should be this, cold, but it can be a banana. Even, you know, two bananas, a banana, a banana with some, you know, a banana. The penis. Happy, happy, happy. Then. You guys already know how I feel about the creatine. I'm a slut, all right? I'm an absolute whore. I'm feral for it because I do generally feel like this supplement has completely changed my life. Now, I understand that there's a lot of controversy out there, and I know you guys like to, to not do your research. I know that, and I can tell by what you guys say in the comments. So if you do want to take a supplement, first off, WebMD is not going to do it. Find some scholarly. Don't say anything. I'm going to kiss your mom in the mouth. Um, articles and do your research, okay? Because a lot of that stuff is just myth. I've had an amazing experience with creatine, and it's always one of the supplements I always recommend to my clients and to pretty much anybody that asked me about it because I love it so much and I do think it's actually done its job and I notice a complete difference when I stop using it. Now if you don't know how to use it you take a serving a day. Now for some people that's going to be between 2 and 10 grams. Now I'm currently taking 7 grams. When I started my creatine I started with 5 grams. I saw great results on that but when you're on 5 grams for a while I've now upped the amount of muscle that I have on my body. I can now afford to go up 2 grams. So that's where I'm at right now and I'm seeing good results with it. Now you take it every single day even on the days when you're not training. Don't think oh I'm not working out don't take it it's not a pre-workout that's not what it does okay your muscles need to be fully saturated at all times with it if it's not maybe it's not gonna work and i don't you know i don't want to break bad news to you but and then oxyshort just came out with their new poison apple flavor so this one the hardcore version has like more caffeine you know you're gonna burn more calories more fat when using the hardcore version they also redropped their voodoo blackberry flavor not a fan sorry it's not for me but yeah so if you need something more toned down regular oxyshred if you're trying to be on crack oxyshred hardcore hardcore parkour hardcore, hardcore. 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 It's amazing. And I'm trying to be on crack, so I might even do a double scoop. I'm trying to be shaken. And also what I like about Oxytred too is that I don't get the jitteries, okay? I'm not into that. I don't know why anyone would be into that. It physically hurts and I don't like my lips tingling, okay? Unless I'm getting a kiss from you guys. Honestly, like, <laughs> I'm gonna do a scoop and a half. Crack. 
And then lastly, I'm going to make a hydration drink. I use Element. I've actually already done a video on this, guys. So if you want to learn a little bit more about it, uh, watch that one. It's from the 10 Not Obvious Gym Tips. But I do actually really, really like this product. If you're someone that like gets muscle cramps and stuff like that throughout the day, but you feel pretty hydrated, it's probably because you flushed out your micronutrients and it's important that you replenish it. And I don't know, I kind of like my water to be a little salty. <laughs> Also, I got a new water bottle. I don't know if you guys noticed. I know she's cute. What the heck? Oh my god, please tell me about it. Uh, that leads me into today's sponsor. Okay, give a huge shout out to Bottle Bottle. Whoop, 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 whoop. Cheer. Okay, support me, please. We're a cult. We talked about it. So I'm gonna give you guys a little deets. I'm gonna give you a little inside scoop on what's going on over here. All right now, I don't wanna talk crap about other water bottles because I do have a lot and I've tried a lot. My last water bottle or the one that I, you know, I was currently using beforehand, it's cute, she's cute and all, but every single time it uh, falls on the ground, water comes out. And I just feel like it's just not crazy functional. Now, the beautiful thing that I like about this water bottle is that it has a dual use lid. So it has a straw feature for my peeps I like to sip, but it also has a chugging feature, okay? Because if you're into, uh, uh, you know, if you want to pour or you want to chug because you're really thirsty like me sometimes after doing hip thrust for one set, perfect. Okay, it's perfect. So it keeps things cold for 24 hours and it keeps hot items hot for 12 hours, okay? Which I guess you could put some soup in here. I don't know if I live in Florida, so I don't really know if that one pertains to me too much. But if you wanted to put something hot in here, I guess you could. What am I talking about? Coffee, tea. Why am I acting like those aren't normal things that people drink? And then there's also like additional space at the bottom. If you're like a gym girly and you have subs that you want to put down there, great. I guess if you're not a gym girly and you're just elderly, you could put your vitamins in there. And and then if you guys don't have a water bottle, you should, okay? Because we're trying to hit our daily drinking goals, okay? So get one. It's really convenient for like outdoor use or like being at the gym or just like being out and about. It is double insulated, BPA free and dishwasher safe, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this in my description down below. And yeah, let's also give a huge shout out again to Bottle Bottle for sponsoring this week's video and supporting this channel. Ugh, guys, and also I'm on my freaking period and you know, it was weird because I was just having like some weird cravings. Like they kind of came out of nowhere. And when I say out of nowhere, I mean, I, I indulged. <laughs> don't be mad at me. All right, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I've tore up some cookies, an entire box of cookies. It was good, all right? And instead of being like, oh my God, like I've ruined my goals and stuff, I'm just gonna use those calories for the gym. And if I have to be delulu about it, so be it. We all have our moments. I know you get it. Anyway, let's uh, let's get off to the gym. Let's get out. All right. stay calm. I'm gonna stay calm. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna chill out. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. Like, it just won't start. It's clicking, but the lights are coming on. I gotta stop asking my dad for help because I forget that he's not a blue collar dude, okay? He's not a do it yourself Debbie. He's a, I will call someone else and pay to get it done. I'm setting myself up for failure because every time I call my pops for help, when it comes to shit that I think a man should know, he doesn't know anything. Roadside assistance, it is. My stomach hurts. I just wanna go to the gym. 20 minutes later. I bought a new battery. So let me just give you guys a little bit of a one on one, okay? Because we're here. If your car is like the battery lights are turning on or like the lights are turning on and it's like clicking but the car is not turning on you probably need a new battery okay so just go ahead and hop over to your local auto zone spend the money on battery they will install it uh for free or it's included in the price and then be on your way you know and i have to remind myself god is putting me through these things for a reason because i've never been through this situation before i've never replaced a battery and if i hadn't gone through this i would have known okay so yes it sucks had to be a little bit patient but god needed me to learn that lesson for a reason so we're just gonna keep pushing and i head back over to the gym I'm a rude. Mask lover. Yeah. Girl, you looking better than the photos. Need more of your time, so I'm watching you in slow mo. Yeah. Busy schedule, but it doesn't really matter when it comes to you. Yeah. I can't wait to wait together. I can never get enough of you. Yeah. She said, What you want from me? Baby, what you want from me? Yeah, yeah. Nothing but your company. Sitting, Sitting on, on the, the top, top with me. me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, girl, I can give you the time of your life right now, right now. Right now. Give you the moment you never could have right now, right now. Let me in, let me in, let me in your world. Yeah, let me in, let me in, let me in. You guys know that I'm I'm practically sedentary now and because of that I've decided that I want to take walks but I'm not a hot girl walk type of girl okay I just don't follow 
the outside. She doesn't agree with me, man. My skin just be sizzling and I'm just not here for it. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan. You know, when I talk about this, I'm just like, I feel like people are going to shame me because who the f*** doesn't like walking outside? You know, catching some vitamin D, some fresh air. Me. It's me. I'm bitches. But yeah, so because of that, after I do my workout, I'll just go ahead and do 20 minutes on the treadmill so that I can still get my steps in because I don't like being sedentary. I feel it in my bones, man. Like yesterday I was at my laptop like this and when I tell you that my elbow started to cramp up, I was like, this is just me aging? Is that what this is? I want you to know that if you don't like walking outside, this is a safe place for you, okay? Because nor do I. I left my freaking headphones, awful. So I've been listening and I wanna say I was listening to everybody else's grunts, but I realized I was the only one grunting. So that was a bit embarrassing. I've been feeling like super sick and like emotionally just like not there because I had to cut something off that wasn't good for me and it sucks because like when you care about someone you know you really don't want to do it but it's just funny how God works you know he's gonna continue to put the same lesson in front of your face until you learn from it and you need to pay attention to those things if you find yourself messing with the same type of people if you find yourself in the same type of situations that you don't want to be in that in the same don't keep doing it it's definitely not the easy decision it's hard especially when you care about someone but have enough respect for yourself to leave and when you're trying to heal through it's okay to admit that even though you had to do it you didn't want to do it i also just feel like there's been like a whole bunch of like minor inconveniences and every now and then when those happen like for instance today with my car last week my laptop getting sick cutting stuff off like i'm like oh my god like i feel like i can't catch a break and then i remind myself of where i was a year ago and i'm in a completely different space i have a complete different set of problems i'm grateful that these are the inconveniences that i'm having and not the latter and so when shit's happening to you you're thinking what was me why is this happening just be grateful that you're not in a worse space every period of life that you're going to be in it's going to come with its own challenges that's just how it is you think that you're going to be stress-free ever no there would be no growth in life if you didn't have struggle so keep that in mind plus you know it's for the plot all right for character development for your character arc you need to have those issues and, and not problems but you need to have those lessons and that's okay it makes it a little bit easier too when you're going through them to remind yourself that you're going through it for a reason like hey i'm going through this for a reason i'm on this path for a reason this is what i have to do to prevail to the next level you stop feeling like a piece of when you start thinking about it like that. Cause I'm like, whenever he puts me through something, I'm like, look at him, give me another lesson, special. Also, if you guys wanna know where this set's from, before you ask me, it is the 437 collab with Aja. Super cute, I know, I know. I filled it out nicely and so did she. I have approximately 24 minutes to get really weird with you, okay? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Just joking, I know you thought you were gonna see something special. Just my belly button. I don't know about you guys, but when I take a shower, I take it in the dark. Like, and I've never been someone that takes like really, really long showers or anything, but like recently, like turning the lights off, maybe putting on like my little sun lamp for like a good vibe in here and then playing like some thinking music, like that gets me in the zone. Get in the zone. Auto Turn the lights off. Sweet dreams, but a beautiful nightmare. I'm like naked right now. Don't say anything. But I wanted to show you guys like the type of music that I'd be listening to when I'm in the shower. It's this, okay? See this playlist? You want to be in your thoughts? <laughs> you want to be in your thoughts? You're gonna love it. Purposely did not do my skincare in the shower so that I could give you guys my skincare routine for like the night. I'm not leaving my house anymore even though it's 5 p.m. I'm doing my night skincare, okay? I don't leave. I don't leave my house after I come back from the gym. I'm not leaving it. I don't want to go. I want to say, it's Friday night. I'm watching two TV shows, The Bachelorette in Paradise and Gen V, which is a great show. Gen V is really, really good. Raunchy, but really, really good. With my roommate and her boyfriend, and it's going to be third wheeling. And that sounds like a great night to me. So that's what I'm doing. Also, if you were having issues with your skin, stop guessing. <laughs> Stop guessing. Listen. So I start with a double cleanse. So I'll do an oil-based cleanser and then a foaming cleanser. And I will just kind of massage that in my skin for about like a minute. Now that you look like the peanut butter baby, ah. grab your foaming cleanser. Emosify it. Until it gets the bubbles. Now I do something called the sandwich method. So I'll put like a thin layer of a lightweight moisturizer on my skin because my skin is sensitive. So I'm about to use some tretinoin and she is powerful. Okay, she's powerful. And sometimes my skin can't handle it. 
So I'm using a pea size amount. Now you can only get tretinoin like from like a, you need a prescription to have it, but there are other ways that you can get it prescribed to you. And I just pat it in my face like that and I try to stay away from my mouth and my eyes. I'm supposed to put this on your neck too, but I had a bad reaction to putting it on my neck. So I'm just gonna have a wrinkly neck when I'm older. There's nothing I can do about it, brother. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that sit on my face for about 10 minutes. And so I have let this tretinoin do her thing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm a girly with dry skin. Oh, I have combination skin, okay? But I like to look like a moist baked uh, apple pie. I'm going to put some rose water on my face. Ooh. And I'm not really gonna let that sit and dry because I'm gonna use snail muse. And I'm just gonna pat that into my skin. All right, we have made progress, guys. We really have. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to use this triple repair moisturizing cream. This big I like to use a really, really thick moisturizer at night because tretinoin is really, really drying, which is why you see me putting all these hydration products on top of it. There was like a point, like in the beginning of my videos when I first started doing it, that like my skin and my lips were looking fucking gross. I was like, yeah, like she looks dry. Like it looks like I'm having a, yeah, do that like every three seconds because uh, tretinoin, so. Oh yeah, that's that thick moisture. And for the sake that it's only 5 p.m., I'm gonna redo my edges. I know some of you guys are like, oh, how do your edges stay down when you're working out? Babe, I relax my edges. Like, come on now, don't be silly. You mean they were fake? Of course they were fake. Listen, I'm gonna die on that hill. I don't need you to tell me how bad it is. I know, okay? I don't do it often. Just when it starts to frizz back up and it stops working, All right? Cause you can make some really old braids look nice with some fresh edges. Like that's the trick. Like if your edges are fine, it's not as urgent to get your hair redone, but like it's the people that have up edges and up hair where you're like this is like too much like you need to get your hair done like don't look like that anymore and guys i used to be one of those people like i went to a pretty white school when i graduated from high school and um i used to just like let my because you know white people don't know anything like they don't know what like nasty looking at like old braids look like they don't know what that looks like so i used to just let it get old you know it wasn't an issue to me but when i went to an hbcu at hampton university the illustrious they humbled me they definitely freaking humbled me and this one guy came up to me he was like you're too pretty to have your hair looking like like that now up on his point for sure definitely hurt my feelings but he wasn't wrong like there was no reason why I should have been going out with my hair looking like that like it looked disgusting so yeah that's my skincare routine honestly like my skin has changed so much in the past couple of months and I'm so grateful that I went to the dermatologist and if your skin is bad like bite the bullet bro just go get help you don't need to guess um cuz now like what look at my skin oh and if you have really bad dark marks like I did this in my morning routine but this it is green tangerine vitamin C dark spot serum. This got rid of my dark spots. Like I had like dark marks all over here, a whole bunch of them over here, a whole bunch of them right here, and this made it go away. Koreans just know what the f up, all right? And we can all take a strong lesson from them.